Hello everyone, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a collective reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, wherever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. For some reason, I feel like I need to do new, new love also, like a new love reading. So I think I'll do that afterwards. Because I just, I feel like I need to do that for, for whatever reason. All right, let's take a look at the current situation between you and your current person. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what is the current situation between the collective and whoever it is that the collective is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. What's the current situation, please? Oh, Nine of Pentacles showed itself here. Okay, tell me more, Spirit. What's the current situation uh, between the collective and their person? Seven of Wands. All right. Ace of Pentacles is also here, and the Seven of Wands is here. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, the world card. Also the ace of swords, come on, and the fool card. Oh, geez, the devil is here as well. Devil with the eight of wands to the nine of wands to the four of cups. And the death card. So you're receiving communication from a past person that you're immediately shutting down is what I'm getting with the seven of wands, um, with the world and the fool. This makes me feel like you made the choice or you made, sorry, you made the decision to break free from a toxic cycle, to be honest with you, with the, with the devil and the world card. This feels like a toxic cycle and it kind of looks like you made the choice with the Ace of Swords and the Fool, you made the choice to um, break free from that. Um, you're all about yourself now with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. You're all about your work, your career, your finances, um, your personal goals, your, your stability, creating your own stability, creating your own happiness, and just being independent and, and self-sufficient and being away from this person, far away from this person keeping your distance and and being very guarded here towards this person remaining on guard remaining on guard why do I feel like you're receiving communication though with the ace of swords let me go ahead and verify this one all right spare tell me about the ace of swords please Or this could be in the past. Some of you did already receive communication from them and you immediately rejected them and, or blocked them. Tell me about the Ace of Swords that's showing up in your reading. Upright card spirit, please. Thank you. Yeah, King of Swords, definitely uh, communication. Tell me more. Ooh, Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, communication and this person basically chasing you and pursuing you for a reconciliation here with the Ten of Cups. So either you already received this communication or you're going to be receiving this communication. Um, and like I said, this person is looking to reconcile with you. Okay. I'm not sure if it's like past or like future. I'm trying to get a feeling of it, but I'm not I'm not getting anything specific. So it could be past, it could be present, it could be future. Hmm. 
okay, you know what it is? I think I know what I'm getting here. You know what it is? Even if this person already did attempt to communicate with you and you rejected them, um, I, what I'm getting is that this person is going to attempt again. Even if this is something that already happened or is currently happening, this person is going to do it again is what I'm getting. So I feel like spirit wants you to prepare for that, you know? Don't think that because they already attempted to reconcile with you, they're not that that means that they're not going to do it again. That they're not that that means that they're not going to try again because that's that's not true. Or don't think that because you haven't heard from them in a while or you haven't seen them in a while that that means that they forgot about you and you know they've they've moved on with their life and um they're they're distracted with another person or another relationship i mean they could be currently distracted but they won't be permanently distracted um and they won't be permanently distant um i do feel like this person is going to make another attempt in your direction <clears throat> to reconcile with you all right what was i going to do seven of wands seven of wands all right Tell me about the seven of wands spirit, please. The death card. Page of pentacles. Ooh. Interesting. Lovers. Hold on. I just saw this um, from the corner of my eye. I just saw this. So with the death card and the page of pentacles and the lovers, this person, when they do make their way toward you, um, they are going to act like they've changed with the death card and they are going to come toward you um, being very apologetic with you with the page of pentacles their energy is going to seem very sweet or very sincere very genuine and honest um, I do feel like they're going to talk to you in that tone of you know i'm sorry i want to make things right i just want to recover our relationship i want to fix things with you you know again the justice card i want to make things right i still love you or i still care about you um can we just you know leave the past in the past can we forget about what happened can we start over they're gonna try to make you feel bad for them they're going to try to make you feel sympathy for them. And I'm definitely getting like a, um, you know, like a love bombing energy here. Yeah, I also feel like their, their demeanor is going to be very like sad. Yeah, uh, like that, I don't know what that dog is called. I think it's called um, Sad Sam. For some reason, I'm getting that image in my mind right now. I think that dog is called Sad Sam. There's, there's like a puppy that, you know, their face is kind of like natural. It, it just naturally looks like they're sad. <laughs> that's what I'm, that's the image I'm getting in my, in my mind. So definitely, like I said, they're going to try to, like, make you feel sympathy for them. Make you feel bad for them. What's the uh, Seven of Wands um, about here, Spirit? Connected to the Collective. So we do have the Six of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands. Mm. And also the Queen of Wands. And here goes the King of Pentacles. Once again, the Seven of Wands as well. Interesting. So this person's a Queen of Wands. Mm hmm. No, you're the Queen of Wands.
Okay, so... Yeah, I just don't see you falling for any of this collective. Um, you're not falling for it. And it just kind of looks like the reason why you're not falling for it is because you've been down this road many times before with the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you've been down this road many times before. Um, you've already seen this person repeat the same mistakes over and over again or, you know, make the same bad choices and decisions all over, I mean, over and over again. So you already know from experience that this person, um, you know, does this. They mess up and then they come back to you acting all apologetic, acting like, you know, they're sorry and they want to make things right with you. And, and then they it kind of looks like they walk a fine line for a little while and then they just go back to uh you know the same issues creating the same issues between the two of you hmm. okay so what well, i'm trying to figure out what the point of this reading is i feel like i'm supposed to like just like give you a heads up i suppose i'm i'm supposed to give you a heads up that they're coming that they're going to come back and they're going to repeat the same, they're going to try to repeat the same cycle with you. And I feel like the reason why they're coming back is because they don't really have anything better to do, is what I'm getting. With the Four of Cups and the Nine of Wands, it kind of looks like this person, um, they're not very busy, you know, they're, they're not very busy in their day. They're not really distracted with anything. Um, it kind of looks like they're having a lot of bad luck in regards to other options that they might have or, you know, um, creating other connections or other relationships with other people. Um, yeah, it's, it just kind of looks like they're bored, you know? They're bored, nothing is really happening, nothing's really um, going in their favor. And they have, they basically have nothing better to do is what, is what I'm getting. This person feels like they've already hit rock bottom. So, you know, they might, they might as well just keep trying to, you know, get you back, keep trying to reconcile with you or keep trying to win you over because it's, it's like they've already hit rock bottom. There's not much, they don't have anything to lose. Um, nothing, nothing is going on in their life right now. You know. And I mean, I, I don't know. I guess they don't watch Netflix. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> they don't watch Netflix. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they can't. I don't know. Maybe they can't afford Netflix. Who knows? I don't know what it is. I don't know what the deal is with them, but it just kind of looks like they're very bored. And it's like they just have a lot of free time in their hands and they don't know what else to do. You know? Is the, is the vibe I'm getting from them. Okay. So I think I'm going to stop the reading right here because I don't see anything else that I need to... Um, communicate here uh so let's move over to or let's move on to what was what did i say i was gonna do A new love reading let's take a look at uh, for those of you dealing with a new person i don't know how many people are dealing with a new person i don't know if it's like a lot of people like would you rather me look at um, your next relationship or or should I do a new love reading for those who already have um, a new a new person in their life you know that, that's kind of what I'm I'm always kind of torn between that so let me know I guess in the comments 
but let me see what I'm feeling. I'm trying to see what I feel is the right thing. Yeah, you know what? I, initially, what I had in my mind is that I need to do a reading for your next relationship. That's kind of what I originally had in my mind. So let me just go with that. All right. This is going to be like for singles um, who are wanting to know about their next serious relationship. Okay. Let me just do a little quick shuffle here. Like when is my next serious relationship um, going to happen? Maybe not when, but like who, with who, you know? Though I could get some time cards. I know there are some like or time oracle cards. All right, Spirit. Um, this is for the singles who want to know about their next serious relationship. What can you tell me, please? Singles who want to know about their next serious relationship, please. What can you tell me? All right, here we go. First card we have is, well, the Six of Cups. That's a good card. Huh. Hmm. So with the Six of Cups, um, I mean, for some of you, this could be that your next relationship or your next serious relationship is going to be with someone who, who you've known for a long time. I mean, if that's the case, then I feel like you would know uh, you would know that that message applies to you. I feel like you would know uh, who I'm talking about. Okay, so for some of you, it's your next relationship is, is with someone who you have known for a very long time or who you met a very long, a very long time ago. Um, Six of Cups sometimes represents childhood. So this could be someone who you know from childhood or this could be someone who uh, grew, up, grew up around the area where you grew up, you know. Like they're from your town or they're from your city um, or they're familiar with uh, a family member of yours. You know, for some reason I felt the, the need to say that, you know, maybe one person connects with that. But for others of you, the Six of Cups basically is a soulmate card. So you are going to feel a very strong, intense soulmate connection with this person. You're going to feel like you've known them for a very long time, even if you just met them. Um, you're going to instantly feel comfortable with them and, and at ease. What else can you tell me, Spare, for the singles who want to know about their next relationship, please? All right, so we also have the Fool card here. Hmm. It could be an Aries, could also be um, a Scorpio. Hmm. Tell me more, Spirit. And we also have the Eight of Wands as well. Um, so for some of you, um, this is someone who you're going to be talking to through the internet. You might meet this person through the internet as well. Um, the fool, it's, it's like there's something new about it, like it feels new. I don't know what that means. What do you mean it feels new? Mm -hmm. um so hold on let me just clarify that because i don't know what that means tell me about the fool spirit please why is the fool here the moon interesting oh okay yeah i was kind of feeling that a little bit yeah and the strength card Yeah, I was kind of feeling like it's, it's like a brand new experience for you. I'm also getting like a relief energy. 
Like, you're going to feel this relief. Like, I thought I was always going to be single, you know? I thought I was always going to be alone. I thought I was, you know, I thought I would never find um, a, a person for me or a relationship. There's some sort of relief that I, I see you experiencing here. Because I feel like you were really worried with the moon and the strength card. You were really worried that, you know, you would be a nun, basically, a male or female. I don't know what a, a male nun is called. Yeah, you thought you were really worried you would never find a one or that you would never get married. Like, always a bridesmaid, never the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Again, male or female doesn't. It's just a phrase. I just, I'm just talking about the energy. Always a bridesmaid, never, a, never a bride. So it's like this new. Oh, I see what the new is. I'm like, what is the new? I keep getting new. It's like this new, new excitement for life. That's what it is. It's. This new zeal, Z-E-A-L, new zeal, new, ex new excitement, like a, a new sense of purpose, a, a new sense of adventure and just happiness, you know? Like finally, it's about time. Jeez, why, what took you so long? I feel like that's going to be your your reaction here. What took you so long? <laughs> okay. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands. Let's see um, how they're coming towards you here. Yeah, Queen of Cups is at the bottom of the deck with the Tower. Ooh, and the Two of Cups. Yeah, there's something about you really thinking and believing that you were just going to be... Um, you know, single and alone for the rest of your days, you know, um, just feeling really defeated here, feeling very like um, deflated. Okay, great. So this is kind of, this is going to be a little bit of a surprise for you. Oh, I was going to look at the Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Wands, Spirit. Clarify the eight of wands. Page of Pentacles is here. Okay. Interesting. With the five of pentacles, tell me more about the eight of wands. And the three of pentacles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny because it, it, it almost looks like you're already planning the wedding on on the first date. <laughs> yeah because you know why it's because you're gonna feel that instant connection that instant like that instant soul recognition between you and this person it's just going to click it's gonna it's gonna you're gonna feel like this is your perfect match almost almost immediately So I do see you, um, in a way, already, you know, planning the wedding on, on the first date. Yeah, you're, you're kind of, you're ready to go, is what I'm getting here. You're ready to go. This person's going to need a little bit more time, but not too much time. Not, not too much time. I definitely see this person um, showing up here as someone who is very serious, someone who is... Uh, very practical is what I'm noticing about them. Uh, they're very practical. They're very grounded. They're very down to earth. They're not going to waste time um, in regards to building a relationship with you. You know, going out with you, getting to know you. 
Um, I feel like this person is going to be very generous. Yeah, very generous. With the Five of Pentacles, uh, I got to be honest with what I'm seeing here. You know, I do feel like this person could be someone who struggles a little bit financially. Um, because I am definitely getting that. I'm definitely getting that. I feel like they do kind of struggle a little bit um, with their work and with their finances. But I also see, I'm also noticing that this person is not going to like make you feel that way. Like they're not going to make you feel like like they're um like they're lacking like they're struggling financially you know like they're gonna be they're gonna do a really good job at, at covering it up basically and um i do see this person being the type of person to uh you know like pay for everything the thing is that i feel like this person is really good at, at management you know they're very organized and they're very um, responsible. Um, and because of that, I do feel like this is someone who can definitely be generous with you. They're capable of being generous with you. They're capable of providing for you. They're capable of giving you gifts, you know, or taking you out. Um, it's just that they are limited, you know, but I, I feel like this person is going to do a really good job at, you know, making it seem like they don't have, um, they're, they're not lacking or they're not struggling or, you know, they're not limited in their finances. They're going to do a good job at, at covering that up. Okay, uh, what else can you tell me, Spirit, about this new relationship? Let's get three more cards and then I'm going to stop there because I can't make this too long. But I'll probably, you know, do this again so that we can continue seeing more information and details. All right, for singles wanting to know about their next relationship spirit, what else can you tell me? All right, so we do have the Five of Cups here. Okay, tell me more. We also have the Four of Swords. And we also have here the Two of Cups. Okay. And here at the bottom is the World card with the Three of Pentacles. Ooh, nice. Very nice. And the Empress is here with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, so some insecurity showing up here. Looks good though, with the Two of Cups. Um, yeah, you're definitely gonna feel like this person seems a little bit, good, a little bit too good to be true. You know, I have to be honest because I'm definitely feeling this energy. Um, this next, I feel like this is your next relationship. But just because it's your next relationship doesn't doesn't mean that it's going to be like the one, you know? The one who you ultimately um, settle down with and like have a long-term relationship with. Because I'm actually feeling like this is more of your next relationship or your next connection, I don't, I'm not necessarily feeling like this is your next long-term relationship, you know, there's a difference, it's not your next lo long-term, and the reason why I say that is because it's just, there's too much of a difference here, um, and there is a genuine soulmate connection, here we have the two of cups and the six of cups, so that does keep showing up, 
But to be honest with you, this person, you're going to end up deciding that you just want to uh, nurture a friendship with this person, nothing more, nothing less. You are going to end up deciding that. It's going to take you a while for you to decide that, but I do see you ending up making that decision. And it's because there's too much of a difference here. Um, you're showing up as an empress and this person's showing up as a page of pentacles. And I've already, I've already pulled out many cards, you know? I mean, one, two, three, four, six cards, seven, eight, nine cards, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 cards. There's 17 cards already out here on the table. So, they're not showing up as anything more than a page of pentacles. So I do see that this person has really good intentions. I do see that they have a really good heart and that they're very generous. Um, and I do see that um, you're gonna have a good time with this person. Um, and you're gonna, I feel like you're gonna laugh a lot with this person is what I'm noticing. But I don't see a deep romantic connection um, being formed between the two of you. And it's because you're going to immediately, or not immediately, you're not going to immediately recognize that actually. It's going to take you a little bit of time, but I do feel like you are going to recognize that this person is just not someone who you can build with realistically. Okay? Um you're going to feel an immediate soulmate connection with this person but in regards to you know a realistic forming a realistic relationship um, which is what you want a realistic commitment with the ten of pentacles it's just not realistic it's not realistic to do that with this person because they don't they don't bring to the table the same the the same amount that you bring to the table, you know. And you're showing up as an empress, which means that you have the wisdom and you have you know the life experience and you have the knowledge to know that if you two don't, um, you know. Like, if you two don't equally bring the same amount to this relationship, it's just a matter of time for things to fall apart, you know? Because you're going to reach this point where you're going to feel like you're giving to this relationship a lot more than this person is giving. And it's not coming from a place of them not wanting to give more. It's just that they're not, that's just not their circumstance, you know? They're just not capable of giving you more. They're going to want to give you more. They're just not capable of it. You know, this person needs, this person has to do a lot more work on, on themselves is what I'm getting. This feels like the type of relationship that could work out between the two of you, like a, much later in life, or, you know, when this person is more stable in their life, when they're more established in their life. And they can, they can basically match you. They can be your match. They can bring the same amount to the table as you, you know? Because it does look like you two have a beautiful connection here with each other. But it just kind of looks like this person is not ready. No, it's not that they're not ready. They're just not, um, they're not capable of um, building a solid commitment here with you, you know? in a way where it would be fair. Um, it's going to end up being... Um, the relationship's going to end up being very out of balance. Again, because you're going to end up having to do a lot more work to make up for this person, to compensate um, for this person, if that makes sense. Um, and, yeah, I just don't see you... Uh, wanting to do that after a certain point, you know? Is what I'm getting. However, I do see a really um, beautiful friendship 
um, being formed here. Yeah. And, you know, it is, it's available here. Um, the friendship, if, I mean, not everyone is going to want to, like, maintain the friendship, you know. Some, some of you might, others of you might not be interested in maintaining the friendship, even if it is a beautiful connection, you know. Because we do have the tower here, so some of you might not be interested. Um, you might just decide to part ways. is what I'm getting. Um, but I do feel like um, it is going to be a, a healing relationship for you is what I'm noticing for some reason. I feel like this person is going to bring, you know, joy and happiness into your life. And I do see you two getting along really, really well. So, you know, you don't have to, you know, get rid of the relationship. You, it, I mean, you don't have to, that's not necessary. Like you can, unless you want to, you know, but if you want, but I mean, the other option is for you to keep them, keep them as a friend. All right, so that's what I have here in the cards um, collective. I can't, you know, I can't really force the cards to, to give me a specific story. I just gotta go along with what, what the cards say. Um, so I'm sorry if it's not the reading you wanted to hear, but that's, that's what I'm seeing here. All right. That's what I have for you. Thank you so much for collective. I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.